Hello everybody, my name is Rolak. Welcome back to Twi er, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Gotta say the whole name. In the last episode, we... What the fuck did we do? We tried to go up to Goron... To the Goron uh, tribe. Okay, that's what they do. Uh, we tried to head up to Death Mountain, but the Goron stopped us. So we head back to Ordon Village. And Bo gave us a little uh, special secret. Iron boots. So we're, if we can get enough speed... We are heading back to Kakarika Village and hopefully back up Death Mountain so we can get to the Gorons. More importantly, up to... Link, hurry. They fled north towards the field. All right, and Chief Bulblin is taking off Colin, so obviously we gotta go save him. Let's do this. We're going to be fighting off Chief Bulbin as well as his other Bulbins on their Bulbors. Oh, those are really not interesting names. So, all we simply got to do is ride up right next to him. Walk on to him if you want. I think you can stun him. No, you can't. Get over here. Once you're close enough, just go for a couple slashes. Come on. Oh, God. Get out of here. There he is. Try to go for a few spin attacks, as that's probably going to be a bit more effective than just slashing your sword. Alright. Damn. Try to take out as many Bulbins as you can, because it will reduce the amount of damage you'll be taking from them. Come here, you. There we go. Hit him. There we go. Alright, this part is a bit tricky. We're going to be in a bit of a joust here. Now, what we want to do... 
There we go. You want to wait as you're just about to get right next to him. Then you want to go for the strike. All right. Let's try again. There we go. Is everyone okay? Good. Beth, I'm sorry, you know, for shoving you. Are you mad? I think I finally understand. I understand what my dad meant when he told me I needed to be stronger, like you, Link. He wasn't talking about strength, like lifting stuff. He was talking about being brave. Link, you saved me, didn't you? You, you can do anything. You can do something to help the Gorons in the mine too, can't you, Link? Now we have our goal set ahead for us. We're gonna go straight for Death Mountain. However, there are a few tiny little things we can do in Kakariko Village at the moment. For Hearst things, General Store seems to have a familiar face. Let's see what lies inside for us. The Malamart. Hey, you can look at stuff, but don't you dare just take things. It's my valuable merchandise. You want it, you pay for it. I decided to take on this unmanned shop. Buy something. It helps the whole village when you do. Alright, from this village we're able to buy a red potion. Wooden shield, which is a replacement for our Ordon shield. Or, we could buy a Hylian shield. Costs up 200 rupees. So, we'll go ahead and take it. I see. I suppose I can part with it. Alright, and this is the permanent upgrade for our shield. It's metal and will never burn. Maybe I can't become a hero, but I figure I can help out people with heroic business deals. <laughs> Better work hard, too. All right, and there we go. And with that, we never, ever, under any circumstances, have to use the Ordon Shield ever again. Because the Hylian Shield is just the only good, other good shield in the game. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. Also, we definitely needed an upgrade with the shield because we're getting into a fiery area and we're obviously not going to be holding on to the Ordon shield all that much anymore. Now if we head to here, this is Barnes' uh, bomb shop. I'm not too sure exactly if we can get anything from here just yet. No, he's not even here. <laughs> there he is. Hey now, it's you. Yeah, so I've been thinking about getting things sorted out so I can go ahead and reopen my shop. Thing is, I can't get the materials I need from the Gorons anymore. Man, I ain't got a clue what to do. 
Okay. <laughs> Is he going to talk about his... Uh, no, his warehouse. So that was indeed his warehouse. Oh, also, if we bring out the lantern, he simply puts us out. Because, <laughs> you know, it's a bomb shop. You can't have open flames in a bomb shop. So, yes, we can't really do anything with uh, Barnes's bomb shop at the moment. However, that will come into play a bit later. Now then, with Colin in the safe care of Renato, all the kids are safe and good. We have no other real option other than just to head up to Death Mountain. Because what else are we going to be doing here, really? Oh, right. Forgot about the bugs. We'll get the bugs when we come back to Akariga Village because we don't... They're not of a top priority at the moment. They'll become top priority when we actually, you know, have to do something with the bugs. But as it currently stands, we really don't have to do anything at the moment with them. All right, let's go ahead and put on iron boots. Slowly walk up to the Grom. There he is. Oh, you're back again, human. You will never pass. You cannot hope to match our brute force. Maybe not, but I can't stop you. Come on. And off you go. And there we have it. We're now able to progress up to Death Mountain properly now. Now then, stopping Gorons is essentially practically the same as stopping goats. Once they get close enough to you, simply hold A and just toss them aside. It's really that simple. And with the fact that you can just hop in and out of the iron boots as easily as that, it's also way more manageable to do it. Such as so. Ah, uh, you go. So yeah, they're not too happy with us for whatever reason, so we're just gonna keep tossing them aside from now on. Thankfully, they give a clear indication as to when exactly they're gonna be coming out. All right. They obviously make a clear, obvious rumbling noise when they're coming down the mountain. And the thing is, you don't need to stop every single Goron on the way. It would just be better because you would you will be taking a bit of damage if you just let them hit you. But I don't remember if they just allow you to go past if you don't toss one aside. I don't quite remember. Anyway, we're back up to this area. Now, then, there are quite a bit of bulbins on the way over here. We could use the hot grass over there, but there's not really much we can do with it. Ow. Okay, let me actually... Yeah, there's no reason to use a shield bash to deflect, like, arrows and stuff. I don't know if it does anything with, like, magical stuff. I don't even know if there's any real magical projectiles aside from, like, some couple battles, but... Even then, the shield bash isn't really much used to really, you know, block projectiles and stuff. I wanted to hit those boxes, but whatever. I guess not. Feels that was a tad bit unnecessary to do that. Since you could probably just reach up and grab. But anyway, it gives us a clear indication as to what to do. Before we do anything, we gotta wait out this little firestorm here. Because eventually. There it is. Wow, this looks dangerous. Is this the traditional Death Mountain welcome? So yes, we got a giant fiery rock that deals damage to us. Alright, so those Gorons gave us a clear indication as to what to do. So what we gotta do is block their attacks and they'll roll up. What we gotta do is simply jump on their back, wait for them to spring up, and we go up. That's how we get up here. All right, now where exactly we want to go I think is over here, I think. Can't remember exactly. Yeah, all you need to do is just block their attack. Shield, shield, shield tagging does nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus. Um, there's not much for us over there. Some barrels. 
there gonna be another golem for us to catch over here? I guess one there was. Huh, guess not. Oh well. Um. There, I think just yeah, around here's the hot spring actually. Some pretty passive gorons just hanging out, not causing any trouble. We're putting a few sumo matches lately. Talk about boring, brother. I suppose because the young gorons these days have no interest in the old arts like sumo. And former powerhouse Gor Gor Koron is an elder. There's not much we can do, brother. How's it going, buddy? Greetings, brother. Bigger hot spring souvenirs right here. So we can grab some arrows, which we can't really use, some lantern oil, windshield, and some milk. We don't really need to pick up anything at the moment. Hey, fellas. Sitting in a hot spring warms up your body and soul and gradually fills you up with energy, brother. Even Gorons need to cleanse their spirits once in a while. So yes, uh, hot springs, as well as the spirit springs, uh, such as the one in Kakariko Village in Ordon, uh, those will replace your health if you just hang around in them. So it's pretty handy if you don't want to, like, buy any potions or anything like that. So yeah, pretty helpful. Alright, buddy. Poke. And let's go. Now you generally want to be holding forward while they're about to launch you because that will put you a bit further up. And I think this one will keep going on so we have to equip the iron boots so we can actually get through it. I'm pretty sure this would kill someone. <laughs> like yes, it's hot air and it's just blowing at you, but it's also a pressurized hot air. <laughs> blowing from a volcano. So I'm pretty sure it would mostly kill you, if not severely burn you. Okay, there's two coming up. Thankfully, once you grab one, time stops as Link tosses one aside. There's the second one's coming up. Off you go. Done and done. Alright. was... Oh. I didn't know they actually ended up there. Neat. Alright, cool. Must have run into the other one. <laughs> Alright. Getting pretty close to the top here. One more guy for us... Or, two more guys for us to take care of. Pop up. Hello. Oh, wait. Give me a chance, buddy. So yeah, either block them or wait for them to do their full combo, because after their full combo, they're going to be exposed. Alright, now if I recall correctly, you actually want to put on the Iron Boots before hitting him, because there's a cutscene and you won't be able to do anything afterwards. And Link will just normally walk. I guess you could equip the Iron Boots while you're here. <laughs> he just walks normally with the Iron Boots on. Hey. Enough! Is this young one such an imposing enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. I am Gor- I am a Goron elder, little human. I am called Gor Koron. Because of certain circumstances, I must leave the Goron tribe in place of Darbus, our tribal patriarch. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? You have done well to come this far. You are strong for a human. However, the mines beyond here are sacred to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed, unless... I could make an exception, but you would have to beat me in a contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human? Alright, time the sumo gore koran. This one's gonna be a bit tricky, because this is the... Hardest sumo match for you to do is also the last and only other one for you to do So it's really not that difficult if you can get the hang of this you only need to beat him once but you need to stay focused because You get an infinite amount of tries, but you need to stay focused if you just want to get it done in one go Which I do because I don't want to spend any more time doing this Also, is it really a good idea to be doing this while you have your sword and shield on your back? Probably not Shot up and already off to a great start it's never really easy to tell what he's going to do. There we go. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. He's just making it really easy. Come on. Once more. Yes. <laughs> that was way easier than it needed to be, but okay. <laughs> Young warrior, you have a strong will and sharp eyes. Fine traits. Want to see how well you can use them? You have seen it, I would bet, the mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of our elders, all four of us elders and Darbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that was entrusted to us by the spirits, and we must protect it. Do you understand? But the moment Darbus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed, and before our very eyes transformed into an unspeakable monster. He began to rage throughout the mines, trailing ruin behind him and the eruptions grew more frequent and more severe. We used all of our strength to seal him deep inside the mountain. It grieved us to do this to our patriarch, but we had no other course of action. I ask this favor of you, young warrior. Go to the aid of Darbus. Make no mistake, the spirits have guided you here. I, Kor Gor Koran, need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. You too. Let the young warrior pass. The mines are full of traps, all placed to protect treasures from thieves. And worse than traps, since the eruption began, foul creatures of all shapes have settled into every corner of the mines. Getting to the Patriarch's location will not be easy. I would prepare your blade, young warrior. Indeed we shall. We will be doing that for the next episode, however, since we are be going on for quite a bit. And, you know, it's probably a good time to stop before we actually head into the dungeon so we can actually get a proper start to it. So, next time on Twilight Princess, we are going to be heading into the Goron Mines, seeing what we can do to help out the Patriarch and the other Elders, and just overall exploring the next dungeon. See you guys next time.